unexpectedly good sounding systems. <laughs> you guys come up with some of the best questions. Thank you. Thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. Cole in Seattle, Washington writes me and he says, Hey Paul, I'm curious if you could tell us about a time in your career where you ran into a hi-fi setup or a listening room that wasn't much better than you expected it to be whether it was in someone's house or a demo, et cetera. I'm thinking of a situation where you walked into the room and thought to yourself, oh boy, there is no way this is going to sound good. But then you were surprised and actually it was good. If so, maybe you could share with us what you think made it sound so much better and why you assumed it wouldn't. Thanks for the videos. They're awesome. Thanks, Cole. That's very kind. And Happy New Year to you if you haven't. Ooh, itchy. Ah. You know, part of the problem of being in Colorado is the dry, in the winter, the dry, hum well, the lack of humidity, the dry air, it, it, oh boy, your skin gets ah, ah, itchy. Anyway, we don't need to talk about itchy skin. Yeah, you know, I've had, it, oh God, in 50 years of doing this, you can't imagine how many systems I've, I've listened to, how many people's homes I've visited. But one in particular was in Japan. On one of my, oh gosh, this must have been four or five years ago, I was in Japan visiting with uh, Hori-san and our distributor over there, uh, Kenjitsu, and great people. I love Japan. I love the Japanese people. I just, oh my God. God, I, I'm just, I'm in heaven when I'm in Japan, to the point where Terry, it, it drives her nuts. Because if you ask me what kind of food I would like, Japanese. Right now, not pizza, Japanese food. I could eat Japanese food for the rest of my life. I love it. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going to get into that. So we're with my friend, Hori, and Hori, Hori is our, our, our guide over there. And we had been to a dealer and seen this or that. And he said, I have one man I, I want to show you. The guy is uh, a, an old customer of ours. He doesn't have any PS Audio equipment. But he very much respects you and he respects your opinion and wants to show you his system. And I'm thinking, oh, God, I'm tired. You know, it's been a long day. I've listened to like four or five systems. I'm looking forward to a, a couple of glasses, a cold, ice cold Japanese beer, a couple of sakis, uh, and then um, jumping in. That, that was where my mindset was going. But hey, duty calls, right? So we go to this, we walk forever, take cabs, walk forever, go down these little narrow streets. And here is a dumpy little place that... I think it's maybe where the guy worked or lived. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to describe just in words, but ordinary looking place, downtown Tokyo somewhere. I'm completely lost and busy as hell, stuff going around. And I'm thinking, oh my God. And there's this little tiny narrow stairway. I mean, literally, you almost have to turn like this and, we, and it's very steep. And we climb up this thing and this is looking a little ratty. I, this, this is, yeah, it's a little sketchy. And I go up and I'm thinking, and, and you know, all along I'm thinking, ah, I'm going to hate this. I mean, and what do I say? Here's something that somebody put their heart and soul into, and I don't want to lie. I, I don't like doing that, but I also, you know, it's just really hard. I don't want to disappoint somebody, but I'm also going to tell them my opinion if they want to know it, right? I just, that's, that's me. You ask my opinion, you're going to get it. And I'll do it as gently as I can, but I'm not expecting much. And I get up in here and there's this room. It's 20 feet by 15 feet, fairly small. No sound equipment anywhere. He's got a rack of, of stuff and it's some decent looking uh, products. There's a couple of really nice pieces. Uh, uh, there was a spectral power amp, uh, a spectral preamp. I remember right. Um, a set of Wilsons, and Wilsons are extremely good. But I mean, this whole thing wasn't all that. So he had Spectral Electronics, MIT cable. This was a standard setup. If you if you know anything about this this little cult of people that that do um, 
Wilson's MIT or transparent cables uh, and spectral electronics. It's, it's, it's a culty kind of thing. It's like, that's what you do. It used to be MIT always. MIT, uh, Wilson's, and spectral. And then sometimes they do transparent cables. Very expensive. Uh, it has a certain sound to it that I'm very familiar with. And nothing on the walls, just a couch and a thing of tea. So he pours me tea, and I'm th sitting here thinking, I, I've been to this party before. And he turns up the music, lowers the lights down, and I'm like, holy shit balls! <laughs> I, I had never heard sound. I mean, it just came out of n everywhere, nowhere. I'm like, whoa! And I must have sat there just one after the other. Do you have one of those? He played vinyl. He played CDs. He, he, uh, and it was just this elegant, beautiful system. I, I thought I was being tricked. I mean, honest to God, I got up and I went, walked around and looked and I thought, this is crazy. It's just a pair of Wilson, some Spectral and some MIT cable or whatever it was. And um, this guy had spent years as, as a lot of Japanese are such perfectionists. God, I wish I could do that. Tweaking this, this system to the point of utter perfection. And I, I mean, I, I, I was you know, holding his hand and hugging him and just, I, you know, and, and Hori, uh, he never even came up. He was out making phone calls or whatever. And he got, we got done and here I am, now I'm hungry again. He, What'd you think? And I said, I don't even know what to say blown away. So anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Take it easy. All right, bye.